TC? <sighs> Sweetheart, you're still there? You won't believe what I brought home with me today. Tell me. <laughs> Whitney's latest tennis trophy. It's the biggest one yet. Honey, are you on your way? Oh, no, not for a while yet, I'm afraid. Damn, sweetheart, not again. Oh, honey, it's Sheridan. There was a fire at the cottage, and she was trapped under a beam for far too long and almost died of smoke inhalation. She's not out of the woods yet, so I'm going to stay here and keep an eye on her. Honey, you said that you would be home on time tonight. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. But I would have had to be here for Antonio anyway. Aren't there any other competent doctors at that hospital, Eve? Why is everything always left up to you? Well, you know how short-staffed we are. Besides, Antonio and Sheridan are our friends. Yeah, honey, I'll miss you. I guess I'll work on Whitney's tennis schedule and then just turn in early. I promise that I'll make it up to you. You know what? You say that all the time. But I mean it. I mean, I'd be home right now if it wasn't for Sheridan and Antonio. You know, I won't say that I'm not disappointed, but I understand. You know, I knew I was in for a lot of lonely nights when I married you, Eve. Oh, I'm sorry. And I promise that I will try and get home as soon as I can. Yeah, I'll be here. TC? Wait. Have you seen Liz? She's probably in the garage apartment sleep by now. Right. Okay, well, I'll see you later. I love you. Yeah. I love you too, sweetheart. Sweetheart, you're home early. I wasn't expecting you so soon. Mm. Yes, well, Sheridan regained consciousness, and, and Antonio's doing much better, so I changed my mind. Yeah, Liz and I were sharing a little nightcap. She couldn't sleep. I see. You know, Liz, you should tell Eve about all your old baggage you've been carrying around. I mean, she's a great listener. Sweetheart, your hands are freezing. I'll make you a cup of hot tea. Excuse me. Here you go. Sorry to interrupt. You didn't interrupt, honey. Liz was just leaving. See you tomorrow, Liz. Good night. I guess Liz didn't feel like talking. I feel so bad what she had to go through. You know, I didn't come home early so that I could talk about Liz. I came home to be with you. Mm. <laughs> I like how you think, Dr. Russell. <laughs> I was hoping you would. <laughs>